Hey everyone. I am the future. I am the future. <laughs> Listen, I thought I'd give you a preview of episode six of our All American Arcade TV series that we run on local TV. So here it is, 28 and a half minutes of joy. Hey folks, come on in for the next 30 minutes. I'm going to tell you all about TNT Amusements in Southampton, PA. This show is going to show you how easy it is to own your very own arcade video game, pinball machine, jukebox, shuffle bowling alley, even a ski ball. You know, we've been doing this for 37 years here in our showrooms in Southampton, PA, where we not only sell these machines, we also do private parties. And guess what? We're the lowest price private party in the country. So join us all right now as we meet our staff. Little Chris. Brother Rob. Tony. Jason, Jonathan, Wallace, Walt, Steven, Frank, Zach, Michelle. Now sit back and relax and enjoy all American Arcade. Wait a minute. Where's Kurt? Kurt. Ah, well, we're ready to start episode six. Uh oh, who's poking around the back side of the Superman? Lois Lane? No, it isn't. Oh. Robbie? Am I allowed to sand or is that too much noise? You can sand. Oh, okay. Look, he's sanding over here. He's sanding a cruising. Mm. He has to sand this. See, this is going out soon. Robbie, I seem to feel a little different. Weren't we dressed? Wait a minute, you're wearing the same shirt. But I'm... I'm yeah, I yours is covered with dandruff. <laughs> it's not dandruff. That well, is the chicken noodle soup. And that's dandruff. This is mustard. <laughs> Who threw that? <laughs> Did a certain beautiful man over here... I see you're busy working on nothing! Order up that damn cruising in Brian's truck. Brian, where's Brian? We they came here to see Stupid Man. Look, come over here. Lex is filming. We have... Lex Luthor? Well, this... You can almost... Listen. Do you know how rare this is? Now, Atari, in March of 79... How many years ago was that? Quickly. Uh, That's 44. not quickly. That's better. He made this 44 years ago. And it's in really great shape. Yeah, it is. And now we have added the LED lighting to it. And your, your dandruff's on here. I knew, I wondered what happened to that. I was looking. Sawdust. Uh, Rob, they're going to see it later. There's plenty of places to eye poke. Plenty of places. For instance, I could bring this boy over. Come over here. <laughs> see, there's plenty of places to do this. <laughs> and there's plenty of places to do that. I'm going to stop you one of these days. <laughs> That's Brandon. Let's we, go, we, Brandon. I'll give him an eye poke. We hire him young. <laughs> Who and me? He went to bring him young. Careful. <laughs> Aren't they fun jokes? <laughs> no. You know, in 10 years, nobody will understand that joke. Okay, this video It'll is be long gone. Oh, I, I doubt it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be around for years. No, I don't think so. All right, let me show you what we did. Or Leon. These used to have red, uh, actually you can see them. Lex, show this side. These are red posts. That's how the game originally came out, red. Okay, we took them all out because they were actually cracking and breaking and replaced them with clear. By doing that, the clear posts take on the color of the LED behind it. Do you see how this has a, like a white glow? These. See these posts, let me get these out of the way. These have 
a glow of warm white. These are blue up here, see? And of course, purple. And they have purple here. They look like cool lights. They're cooler yeah. yes. in color. Now, we also added a light. We were the first people in the world. And this is one of our employees. He's not here anymore, but Jason came up with lighting the two flipper areas. Isn't that clever? And another first in the world, uh, one of the TNT twins, Timmy, came up with an idea of lighting the shooter rod. And at the same time, we switch the button to clear and it lights the button. And we added a light on this side. You see that? These are TNT first. These are the first time it was done in the country. Okay, we did it first. And we're talking. You are the greatest. Well, I'm part of my greatness. It's part of my greatness. We. And I well, we're, we're going back to like 2014, <laughs> 2015. And a lot of people have copied it, which is good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the air hose and blow off the dust. When you have the glass off these things, by the way, you know the glass on every pinball machine in the world is supposed to be tempered, and occasionally we'll get a game in. You can actually tell the difference between tempered and regular plate glass. Plate glass will kill you. Do you remember the scene in Ghost at the end of it? Yes. Yes. Real glass will kill you, baby. You don't do that. Well, let's get back to this. A very great designer, pinball designer, Me? named Steve Ritchie. Oh, no, that's not. This funny. is one of his first games that he designed. And he worked closely with another genius. He came up with a sound system. Eugene Jarvis programmed all the sound you're going to hear. And he also noises? came out with background sound. <laughs> but Atari didn't like it. Oh. Steve Ritchie came up with the background sound, actually. Uh, he moved on to Williams, and he put it in Flash, another game that came out in 79. Hmm. So the, the background sound was, was employed by another company, and Atari didn't do it. And you know what? Guess what happened to Atari after this game, Rob? Uh, they sold a million copies. And they sold, <laughs> well, as I said, they sold a bunch of these, over 5,000. <laughs> Their next machines, they only made one or two of them. They're called prototypes. Never made any more games. Other than another game that was in design in May called Hercules. Have you ever seen those giant machines? I hate that game. Hercules. Gigantic. Hercules! 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 That used oh, the, the same guy. board system that this did. And you're going to see it soon. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Hello. Did you use so, a cue ball for the pinball? That used a cue ball <laughs> for the pinball. Actually, if you go on TNTAmusements.com, uh, uh, YouTube page. You can actually see a video we made. One of our very first videos from 2010 oh. where uh, we show a Hercules and compare it to a regular Is that when they invented electricity? Oh, so long ago. <laughs> By the way, I flashed up a couple pictures of some other games. You flashed? I, 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 I floated them in. I float oh, them in. flash. Now, this had a unique board system that started with this and Hercules. Can you open the side so we can swing this open? Where's the thing? Oh. Okay, there. There we go. It's a beaut, Clark. So they put all the circuit boards up here, okay? And we replaced capacitors that were uh, dried out and such. A great idea. Originally, Robbie, the boards were underneath the machine. Guess what happened? No, Frank's when, power board here. That's with right, the Franklin's power board. 2032 lithium battery. Yes, that's right. So the battery holds the high scores, just so you know. And that's in every pinball that machine. That was dated Originally, they November were of 21. Rob, we're losing viewers fast. Oh, geez, okay. This is late at night. We're losing viewers. Now, uh -huh. now, look, this glass slides in and out and covers the display numbers. Very, very nice. Okay, now, when we shut the door, there's a lock in the back that locks it. Keeps Mr. Door shut. Okay. This one has an amazing shot here. Do you see this? It goes all the way up here, and if you have it, if you do it far, hard enough, it will circle and then hit this star rollover. That used to be just a light bulb. We put in a fire uh, so it changes colors when it goes past here. And then what you're hoping will happen, it'll bounce around and go in one of these four lanes. There's other ways to access those four lanes. So uh, Steve Ritchie put this angle here. This could go up and, and go through, or it can roll through the 50 point. 
you get most of your points through these rollovers. Well, you would change the chance for points by using your flipper button. No, you can't. This oh, did not. Can't? This is before oh, lane change. Oh, it didn't change. have that. Yeah, Rob made a good point. In 1980, Firepower was the first game with lane change. When you hit the flipper button. Was that right? I didn't know that. When you hit the flipper button. That's right. You use these four lights. You try, so you tried to... He's dragging the trash can out. This is a working shop. Have you noticed that? No. We film these videos Somebody's around... Somebody's working? All these... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. Well, we're working. Is that done, Brandon? Yeah. John, can you find him a Data East battery board? That's what this boy is waiting on. I'm waiting. Up front in the office. Maybe you can find it for him. We're busy. Well, I thought we were. Working hard. Or you notice, hard. Robbie, we put our 44 years. Ah, uh, when do you get the 45 so now, now? I started buying these when we were 15 years. Now we're up to 44. Yeah. You were going to place the order. Where's the 45? You're here. ordering them after we finish this video. See? And Rob, I'm wasting all this time. Yeah, you are we're wasting having fun. He said Hello. the waste of time. This is also called a wide body. Yeah, yeah. You can see, Just wide like bodies time. suit people like wide me. Wide body suits right, This starts, the, that loads the ball, <laughs> and it's activated. You see the flashing lights. The computer is flashing them, not that the bulbs themselves don't. And we have scanning here. You'll notice you get a thousand points if you get a target down. But if you knock the target down when the light's on, you'll actually get extra points. Robbie, look. I got 5,000 instead of 1,000. See up here? See, I hit it at the right scanning moment. Look, this one will give us 50 points. Okay, now of course, remember I told you we, we shoot the ball up and go for it. Now, what you try to do now <laughs> is spell Superman. Now here's the S. U. P. E. R. M. A. God, uh, what's gonna happen when I hit the N? Any idea? Well, that's when you look at the card here. Look, super lights lanes for special. Man lights lanes for extra balls. Now look over here. We have a special lane, Robbie. So without spelling man, if I rolled through here, did you hear that noise? It went doo boop. I have a credit. I want a credit. But we're still gonna spell man and get the extra ball lit. That's right here. Now watch, when I hit the M, N. Ah! <laughs> That's how the game acknowledged. And watch, if I roll through it. Did you see that flash? Now, once again, the computer does that. This is 1979 electronics. So Atari was pretty ahead of its time here, I thought, because they were doing stuff with that new board they, they came up with uh, that other companies were still experimenting with. Remember, we're looking at March 79. Now, when we go down, we're going to collect all the dough. We don't have a whole lot here. I'll show you how to build that up. We go down here. And we're back to square one. We have to light everything up again. But guess what, Robbie? It remembered the two. So, we get one. We get three. Oh, I, I, I like that sound. Look, we're up to two times. And now, let's see. If I do four, I suspect we're going to go three times. So you're gonna get three times 9,000. Robbie, how much is that quick? At 27. That's right, 27,000. Plus tax. What happens if I go in Mr. Hole here? I get 5,000 points and that's it. That's what happens. Nothing. Now, Robbie, how on earth can I get these other targets lit? God, I missed it. There's other ways to go. We're up down to 10,000. See, I get the targets down, I go up to 10,000. Now I get extra ball. I get those targets down again, Robbie. Special. Oh, oh no, it didn't get that me. Was yep. It's on free. I guess it could be set up for one credit per game. 
Oh, it's a device to control the twin. Well, it is. Now, this game is four player. Now, we're only playing one player. If we were playing two, three, and four players, the computer would set the field up. It would remember which rollover it was, depending on which player, for instance. There's actually settings in the game, so you can flip and change settings to make it more accurate. Now, all the way around the play field, there are small point switches. That gives you 50 points. 50 points. There's one probably here. Yep. And there's this one here. That's 50. I would think there'd be a 10 point switch someplace. Oh well, like, aha! Why are 10 point switches important? That is the match. See, at the end of the game, you match the game. We're on ball two because of how it goes. You have to score something. If I don't hit anything on the play field, the game will give me my ball back because it didn't hit anything. So if you have a dead ball that happens not to amazingly hit one point, mm -hmm. the game will give you the ball back. I got my ball back. Now, we're going to end it. Here it is. Let's see what the match is. It's loading. 90. So if the 90 matched the 10, see, not, not the high score to date, I would have won another free game. Uh, the computer is set for 10%. So Joe it's, Biden? it's not luck. This beautiful cabinet, Robbie. It's beautiful. Lex, look it's, at it. And it can be yours. Steven, that's this man here, restored this beautiful cabinet to the original factory paint. We did not re stencil it, he restored it. And we, we finished the job by putting on powder coated legs. It's hard to believe, Robbie, 44 years. And it's hard to believe you're 70 years old. You're more like 80. <laughs> well, we finished our, our destruction of Superman. I'm hoping you learned something. I hear the black light in the background. Here, swing the camera around and show that. That's another, that's another winner. It's a relic. It's a relic from the old days. Actually, Rob, you know what? Over here, Sonny, I'm done with the black knight. <laughs> You're mean. I know. Rob, years ago we filmed a commercial about renting our party rooms out for parties. Do you know we've been doing private parties at TNT Amusements longer than anybody in the world? I can't believe you're still watching. Aren't you folks tired? This is broadcasting <laughs> so late at night. Home. But this is a little commercial. You can book our showrooms for great parties. Let's go. How about having a private party here at TNT Amusements in our maze like showroom? Did you know that we have well over 60 games on free play? Hey, your guests, we have unlimited playtime in our action showroom. Changing games in the showroom, so there's always different games to play. And one of our party hostesses will run your entire party for you, making it real easy for you. I'd like you to meet my lovely wife, Pam. You know, folks, Pam and I were happy for almost 25 years, and then we met. Ha ha ha! Oh! 25 years, eh? That's not even my joke. It's Ronnie Dangerfield, hmm. but it's banana cream. Hmm. Your very own private party room. And we even show a classic cartoon while you eat your food. We'll make your party a smash fit. Now, wasn't that great? Super. I, I thought it was pretty good. Now, Rob, listen. Are we done? Well, I want you to book a party. Call us and book a party. 
And we do yeah. small groups. Yeah, small groups. We now want to do one more. We, we have another clip. I want to run some of my favorite scenes wow. that we filmed over the years. And you're in, you're in the first one. I no think. way. Yes. These are actually green screens. Wow. We had a lot of fun doing them, Robbie. Only with Frank. Right. Frank. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Cameo. And now we can put a regular one amp in there. Ah! Let's add. Let's add the rain. Cue the rain. Cue the rain. And here we go. You gotta be going back and forth. We're not supposed to be talking. See, we're, we're on a sh the minnow. <laughs> Uh-oh. You know you need Looks me. Like there could be trouble. Right where I am. Oh. Yeah. Make sure you don't. Ah! Is the camera. Can it's you 106 straight? degrees. You know, this isn't an episode of Batman where you show the criminals with the side of yeah. You say, my unbounded admiration. Thank you. Mm, you know something about champagne, sir? <laughs> Have a shot. If you tell me that the bubbles tickle your nose, I shall probably kill you. You know, before I play a game, I gotta tell you that I actually did some extreme sports. How about if we go to that real quick? Oh. 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 Frank, should I push the button? Yeah. I'll hold your hand. Frank. It says not to. You own the place, Mr. Big Boss. Right, do. do it. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, Frank. Oh. <laughs> You're a blockhead. <laughs> oh, I feel around. so odd. And Frank, look at you. Look at that center. Oh, my gosh. But look at, and look at the shop. It's so clean. Where's everybody? I don't know, Maybe but everything's front. orderly. Up front? The party room? Get up, my road! Move over! Let it pass! Out of the way, Roadhog! Too bad, Mr. Wheeler. You've broken your toy. But let this be a lesson, Mr. Wheeler. Drive safely. Play fair. Give the other fellow a break and... Ah, shut up! We did find another picture. Oh, out. by the way, Gloria, my wife wants her shorts back. Uh, I told you to burn that picture. Uh, <laughs> I got good legs. I'm pretty hot. <laughs> you know what this qualifies for? I'll show you what this qualifies for. <laughs> a triple. Thank you, Todd. You will always be my favorite YouTube channel and the funniest part of my day, Billy. Now, what's amazing is that this has got to be the nicest email I've ever gotten. Still fits in the bill. <laughs> but Billy likes all the fun things we do, and he likes your rude comments. Jason's rudeness and Wallace's insubordination. You know what, folks? I'm out of here. In the chill night at the sea. history of video games, one arcade machine has become legend. Some say it's a myth, others deny its existence. 
secret in purpose, evil in design, lost in time, until now. Well, there you have it. What is the truth behind all of this? Is it fact? Is it fiction? Is it... Including a special episode about the magical killing Polybius arcade game. And we have one. Actually, you have to put a power supply in it. Power supply took a dump. Oh. So once I get that fixed, it'll go back to its killing rampage. Oh. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And now remember, get out! Well, not yet. I say that in a minute. Oh. Yeah, please go to our website, okay? Please go to our YouTube channel. Please go to our new sales site where we actually sell parts and things 24 hours a day. You can see all these things. And good night for now. Good night. Now get out! We'll meet again Don't know where Don't know where Say hello to the folks that I